Uh, hello, I'm Bob Fisher. I'm a professor of computer vision in the School of Informatics. I was uh, approached with a really interesting image processing problem. And the uh, problem is to try and work with the uh, p uh, fragments of the Pelosi uh, mosaics from the London Underground. Um, and uh, this is an example of one of those mosaics, and this is an example of one of the fragments. And what the project uh, involves is, a, is essentially a kind of jigsaw puzzle matching project where we're attempting to figure out where each of these parts, the fragments of the broken up mosaic, might have fit together in the original scheme. This might lead to a, some sort of project of reconstructing all of the videos, or re, sorry, reconstructing all, all of the mosaic from all of the fragments. Um, so we, uh, my uh, colleague and I approached this as a kind of like a jigsaw matching problem. We applied a variety of image processing techniques to trying to figure out where that part uh, fit. It kind of boils down to just taking this part and sweeping it across the whole image and finding the location where the part best fits. But that seemed to be a uh, satisfactory and successful technique that allowed us to match where the parts that we that, we, that had enough identifiable structure could actually fit into the mo mosaic as a whole. So when I initially spoke to Bob about this, um, he had a prototype version working, which would take one uh, small fragment of the mosaic, scan it, scan it across the entire large image, and produce a, an output which was basically a copy of the, um, of the whole mosaic, but instead of showing the colors of the mosaic, it would show bright spots where that part fit well. Um, and essentially my task was to take that prototype process and scale it up to dealing with the entire problem. Um, so there's a lot of preliminary work in taking all these fragments and all the different images of the um, full mosaic and standardizing them and rescaling them and flattening them out to the camera. Um, and then once all that was done, it was a case of building a pipeline that could take all that data and process it in a way that would, um, would actually run in uh, hours rather than days or weeks. So it was a case of scaling things down and... Uh, and working out efficient ways to do it. Um, what we see looking at the output that we've got is that we have very nice matches for some of the parts um, where you can say, yep, the algorithm is finding an answer well there. Um, but even in those cases, it's often not this is the exact spot that this part comes from. It's more this is one of the five different more or less identical spots that it might have come from. Still, it uh, constrains things nicely. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, for some of the other parts, um, we're not getting quite as good matches. Um, and it sort of remains to be seen whether that's because those parts aren't from one of the arches that we've actually processed yet, or it's because um, we're just having trouble finding the right spot. Right. What we see here is a representation of the portion of the mosaic that's uh, been uh, reconstructed or whatever from matching all these little individual parts. So be behind you see uh, the, the colored facade. Um, it's been rescaled slightly to sort of fit on the screen right here. And the, the black uh, patches that we see right here is where we've taken, we've found one of those fragments, one of the 400 or so fragments, actually fits uh, inside, um, you know, sort of matches one pa patch of the, the mosaic. Uh, what you can see here is actually that there's quite a lot of the full mosaic, the colored patches, that are still visible, and that, what that means is there's quite a lot of fragments of the mosaic which are, which are not available anymore. Um, in terms of things I've worked on in the university, it's, it's certainly out there in terms of um, interesting us. I mean, with my PhD, I was doing work trying to teach maggots to learn different smells, so I, it's a different kind of spectrum of, uh, of unusualness, but it's really cool to be involved with something that is... Um, that has a sort of uh, concrete goal in trying to in trying to recreate something, and to be doing something where we're using computational techniques to make people's life easier. So if someone doesn't have to sit and do all this by hand.